Hey, Josh over at Mills GM and Baxter. Checking out this, what appears to be a very well taken care of on the outside, uh, GMC Sierra 2500 Duramax 2015. Uh, outside, I'm not seeing any major rock chips, dings, scratches on it. This side of the truck is very clean. Tires, me personally, I'd probably put new ones on. They just look a little chewed up, but they're still easy to drive on. Still plenty of tread on them. There's a little bit of rubbing right here. You can see whatever the case was. I don't know how they got that. Maybe it's just, actually it just looks like it's coming off the tires and dirt and stuff. Bed has a spray and bed liner, a gooseneck in it. Does have the plug on the inside. Bed's in great shape. Does smell a little bit like a cow field uh, in the bed. I will say that. Uh, tailgate, tunnel looks fine. Tailgate's in good shape as well. Not many rock chips on the tailgate itself. Bumper is fine. There's a couple little dents down there. Again, this side just as good as the other side, you know. <clears throat> the vehicle looks well cared for. Obviously, I went over the mechanical stuff on it. Uh, the inside, the back, again, looks uh, pretty well cared for. Definitely needs an ozoning. Uh, definitely owns horses and cows. I can smell that from in here. Uh, but the leather is in good shape. It's not uh, horrible of farm, but uh, it is noticeable. I think uh, if somebody were to shampoo the, the carpet and everything, that would come right out. Uh, memory seats, heated seats, power folding mirrors. Just a little bit of a tear crack on the leather. It usually happens um, on these vehicles from uh, people sliding. They slide in and out instead of using the running board like they should. Sitting down, of course, it has a trailer brake. Oh, sorry, it does not have cooled seats. I was wrong there, just the heated seats on this one. 108,000 miles on the vehicle. Does have uh, AM, FM, you know, backup camera, dual climate control. Let's shut that off. USB. You know, overall, the, the truck is in great shape, um, appearance-wise. Obviously, mechanically, it uh, looks like it needs a head, some other stuff with the truck, but outside appearance, I, I'd give this a nine out of 10. Here's that lower valance I told you about. If you look here, you can see it's all chewed up. Most people take those off anyways in Minnesota because when you're running on lakes and in fields, you just constantly break them. You get a little bit better fuel economy if you have this on. I think about two to three miles better uh, to the gallon. So if you're mostly on the highway and not on road, off road, in fields and on ice, have a new one put on. Otherwise, uh, this looks like it's just bent out a little bit. Maybe it could be fixed. I don't know that answer. But uh, thanks for watching this quick video. Let me know what you're thinking. Love to hear an offer from you. Thanks, have a good day.